All right, so I'm back and uh, I'm just gonna show you something really cool. All right, so if I just do this, I'm gonna enable that. All right, now, so for example, if I go like this, I'm just gonna align ourselves with it. Now, hello. Hey, no. Hello. Hello. And as you can see, uh, you can kind of see it here. It's hard to tell from this far, but And well, we have motion tracking. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. We have motion tracking. Um, a laggy, but I mean, it works. It is a slight alternative to using the iOS Live Link, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, unfortunately, as of right now, there is no Android version. It is a uh, Windows only. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to put all the links down below. And this is an important note. You need to make sure you're anything above 5.01. If you're not, then you're going to need another thing. Uh, okay, so the first thing I do, wait, yes. The first thing I do says to download this plugin. Okay. <coughs> Alright, then once I download the plugin, I install it. Okay. Let me, let me just make sure it's installed. So, go to your root folder, create plugins. Yup. Make sure it's there. Yup. Okay. So just like, yeah, all right. So make sure that plugin is there, which I did. Uh, and then open up the app. Open up the app and then make sure you have the right IP address and port, which I did. Wait, can the port be anything? Yeah, the port can be anything. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the port can be anything, and then to do the same thing here. So edit project settings, uh, and then go to plugins. Go see, and then just to make sure that I have. Proper. Make sure I have that, yeah. Alright, that's the same, that's perfect, alright. Now we can close that. And then make sure it's selected here. And bam bam bang bang. It works. Can we get it to do a... Under why can't we make it rotate?
interesting. I guess not. Anyway, I did it.